Bun is a new JavaScript runtime that has been in development for a while and it finally hit 1.0. Bun is a very ambitious project with the goal of being an all-in-one JavaScript toolkit, a runtime for JavaScript meant to be a drop-in replacement for Node.js, a bundler similar to ESBuild, RSPack, Webpack, and others, a package manager similar to NPM, Yarn, and PNPM, a test runner that is just compatible, supports TypeScript and JSX out of the box, and more. But the biggest selling point of Bun is that it is built for speed. It's written in Zig and powered by JavaScript core under the hood, which aims to reduce startup times and memory usage dramatically. Bun has had some impressive benchmarks when compared to Node, which is a very mature project, but it is also compatible with Node.js. So you can still bring all your favorite NPM packages when using Bun to build, run, and test your apps. Bun could also have a real impact on the web ecosystem. With much faster performance and good developer experience, it's exciting to see how frameworks and applications will use Bun in the future. So how do you get started with Bun? Bun can be installed with one command and has support for OSX, Linux, and WSL. To install packages using Bun, use the Bun install command. To run commands using Bun, use the Bun run command. To run tests using Bun, use the Bun test command. And to run packages, use the bunx command, which is similar to npx. You can also run commands using bun's runtime by passing the dash dash bun flag. Here I'm using the dash dash bun flag with vite. So next, let's take a look at a sample project running bun. Here we're going to create a sample bun project with analog, the meta framework for Angular. So we're going to use the bun command to use bun create analog at latest. Select a template and go through the options and we'll have our project scaffolded. So we'll change into the analog bun directory, run bun install, and let it install the packages, which is pretty quick. And now we can run the bun run dev command to start up the application. Open up the browser, paste the command, and we can see that analog is running can also run the test for the project using bun run test. And these tests are run using vtest. And to build the project, you can use bun run build. And it goes through and builds the project. Building the SSR application. And going through the pre-rendering. And finishing the build for this analog project. We can also run the server for the project using bun by passing the project path to the bun command. So if we use bun and the location of the server file, which is this analog server.index.mjs, and we see our application is running on localhost port 3000. I'm interested in learning to see how bun continues to be developed in the future. If you enjoyed this content, hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel as that really helps me out. And with that, We'll see you in the next video.